Doctor Who series 13 is set to come out later this year. It will obviously be Jodie Whittaker's third series playing the 13th Doctor, and also the third series for Mandip Gill playing Yaz. After the New Year's special for this year aired, they announced that they would also be joined by new companion Dan, who is played by John Bishop. The showrunner for this series will once again be Chris Chibnall, and now, Chris Chibnall's era of Doctor Who has been criticised in the past for being too secretive, with them not really revealing any information about it or anything. But for a man who likes secrets, we sure do know a lot about what's going to happen in series 13. So, this is everything we know so far. The Sontarans and the Crimean War. The first filming images we got for the series were of them filming with people dressed up in soldier costumes, specifically British soldiers from the period known as the Crimean War. This is also backed up by the discovery that actor Sarah Powell had the role of Mary Seacole, a prominent figure throughout the Crimean War, listed on her CV for Doctor Who Series 13. So we knew pretty much at this point that one of the historicals of the series would be based around that period of time. And then a few days later, another interesting development occurred when we got some pictures of what appeared to be Sontarans. So it became very likely that the Sontarans would also be making an appearance in this story as well. Of course, this wasn't 100% confirmation, the pictures were slightly blurry, but then a few weeks later, they were filming on the streets of Cardiff, and we got more pictures of the Sontarans, and these ones are very clear. Not exactly HD, but you can clearly see these are 100% definitely Sontarans. Now what's interesting about this is that the Sontaran filming on Cardiff was is set in the modern day. We could see modern day cars, modern day people. It definitely wasn't in the same Crimean War setting that the original images were. Which means that this Sontaran story is set over two different time periods, that being the Crimean War and what I'm assuming is modern day Liverpool. This is also the first time we saw John Bishop filming, although at this point in time we didn't know he was a companion. But now we do, it's very likely that this Sontaran Crimean War slash Liverpool filming is definitely episode one. The two time periods would seem to suggest that this could be a two-parter, but that doesn't seem to be the case. As we move on to episode two. Earlier this year, a listing for a Doctor Who graphic novel titled simply Doctor Who Event 2021 was listed on places such as Amazon with a full description of what we could expect from this comic. It also ended by saying that this comic tied directly into episode 2 of series 13, which gave us a lot of information about what's going to happen in that specific episode. The blurb of the comic said that it would be set in Victorian Cardiff, and we know that's probably the case from filming photos seeing both John Bishop and Mandip Gill filming in a Victorian-esque location. It also stated that the plot of the episode would revolve around time windows, a concept which was first established, I think, back in Girl in the Fireplace, and has since appeared in stuff like the Sarah Jane Adventures. For anyone uninitiated, time windows are basically portals linking two different time periods together. Also alongside Mandip Gill and John Bishop, we saw actor Kevin McNally filming this story as well, but we don't have any information about his character. The graphic novel description also mentioned a Victorian version of Torchwood, so that could potentially be in this episode as well, but I wouldn't hold your breath for something like that. Interestingly as well, we haven't seen Jodie Whittaker filming for this story at all, which is a bit odd, but this could potentially mean it's a Doctor Light story. And before anyone brings it up in the comments section, I am fully aware that the graphic novel has now been cancelled due to recent events, but the information it gave us about the series still stands. So, moving on, back, way back I think at the end of 2020, we saw a second returning monster filming in the form of the Weeping Angels. We saw just the singular angel filming in a street in Cardiff that looks suspiciously like Bannerman Road. It isn't Bannerman Road, but I would love it if it was. And then we saw just a singular angel again filming on a beach with actor Annabelle Sholey and Jodie Whittaker. No sign of Mandip Gill or John Bishop, just the angel, Annabelle Shirley and Jodie Whittaker. People have said that the clothes that Annabelle Shirley was wearing looked quite 60-ish, and there have sort of been like 1960s cards cited when they've been filming with the angels, so this could potentially be a historical story as well. There seems to be a lot of historicals at the moment. We then just had one image of the angel filming again, we couldn't really identify the location from it, but yeah. 
From there on out, it was just images of the angels just popping up in different locations. And then there was also an image of multiple angels in the same location, confirming there will be more than one angel in the story. That's all we know about the angels, but yeah, the weeping angels will be in series 13. One of the more recent big filming shoots that we've got lots of pictures for is when they were filming for, I think, a few days in and around locations in Liverpool. Obviously, John Bishop's character Dan is from Liverpool in the show. So there was lots of filming, and one of the most interesting photos we got was John Bishop and actor Nadia Albina. Apparently her character is also called Diane Curtis, although I can't find out exactly how we know this, we just do. But even more interestingly than that, we saw a very strange looking creature in the form of this weird skull face man who seemed to just be watching them really creepily. I really like the design. Lots of people trying to link this back to someone called the Shadow from the Armageddon Factor. And yeah, I can see the resemblance. It would be quite cool if it was, but that seems like such an obscure and tenuous link that I don't think they would do it. I personally think he looks very much like he's an agent of the Division. Obviously, the Division is the secret Time Lord organisation that we discovered in The Timeless Children. His uniform with all its gold bands and piping looks very similar to all the Division agents we've seen thus far. It would also make sense seeing as after escaping them in Fugitive of the Jadoon, the Division would almost certainly be after the Doctor. Other filming from Liverpool included a fairly lengthy night shoot, which we have lots of photos from where it had Yaz and the Doctor standing outside the TARDIS and they seem to be inviting John Bishop to join them. Or Dan, should I say, not John Bishop, he's, he's the actor. And there were just more shots of the Doctor, Yaz and Dan. So finally, the last big thing we have to talk about is the return of the Daleks. I know, I can't believe it either, it's such a big shock. Who would have thought the Daleks would re re return, I know. So yes, as we all suspected, the Daleks are in series 13. They've been in every series up until this point, they even snuck themselves into series We Have No Returning Villains 11. There was no reason to doubt they'd be appearing in series 13. And they are, so, you know, there's never going to be a series without the Daleks, right? The first indication we really got was Nick Briggs being sighted, just the back of his head. It's a great photo of just Nick Briggs just walking. And then people were like, ah, the Daleks are in it, and we saw one of the Dalek operators, so yeah, we basically knew at that point the Daleks were definitely in the series. And then we finally got the unquestioned confirmation of their appearance when we got a photo of them filming. And the ironic thing about this photo is you can clearly see the bottom half of the Dalek with the hemispheres and things, yet they've covered the top half, like that's gonna stop us from knowing what's under there. I just find that really funny. It's also confirmed we're not getting a new Dalek design, we are sticking with the bronze design which we've had for 16 years now. On the one hand, I'm happy about this, the bronze design is great, it would be a real shame to lose it, but on the other hand, I want a new design, even if they just took the bronze design and changed the colour scheme. Now, interestingly, we know series 13 will only be 8 episodes as opposed to the usual Chibnall era 10 episodes and a special. However, they didn't say whether that would mean 8 episodes and no special, or 7 episodes and 1 special, or even 6 episodes and 2 specials. So it could be that this Dalek filming is for the special and not the main series itself, which would make sense because both Resolution and Revolution of the Daleks were both festive specials as opposed to part of the actual series. I don't know though, because we have seen filming for other episodes after this, and usually the specials are the last thing they film. So maybe there is no special, or maybe the Daleks are just not in the special. And the most recent thing we've got, the most recent filming images that are big enough to run their own segment, is we saw them filming on what seemed to be a pirate ship. John Bishop seemed to be in very piratey costumes. And Jodie Whittaker had a completely new purple velvet type costume, which I'm guessing is probably just for this episode, but it looks really nice, so I hope it sticks around. And there was also a casting call put out by the BBC for five men of Southeast Asian descent to play pirates in an episode. So. This confirms that this is going to be a piratey episode. People have also linked this to a famous Chinese pirate whose name I'm not going to try and pronounce, but this also gives a clear indication of yet probably another historical story. And finally, here are all the small things. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep that. I could auto-tune actually. 
to make it sound weird. Yeah, I'm doing that. If you're hearing this, I'm keeping this bit in. The small things. There was a picture of some futuristic looking bar, which they were filming at. It looks fairly alien and futuristic. If I had to predict, I'd say this might be episode 3, because there's always a pattern with Doctor Who where you have the first story in the present, second story in like the past and the third and the future, or any combination of those three. So if I had to guess, I would say this would be episode 3. There was also a picture of an alien with a blue head, an alien with a pink head, who seemed to be dressed in like royal robes attacking the Doctor. There was also a man in like a red suit or something who was standing behind them, so that's interesting. New aliens there. Although they kind of look sensorite like to me, but they're probably not. Sasha Dewan is probably in this series, no big surprise there. We haven't seen him filming, but one, it made sense, and two, he posted the thing on his Instagram about having to get COVID tests for filming, so, you know, he's probably in the series as well. Director Jamie Magnus Stone is returning from series 12 alongside new director Arthur Salim. Maxine Alderton, who previously wrote The Haunting of Villa Diodati, will also be writing an episode for this series, or maybe even two. It's listed on her CV that she is a quote-unquote core writer for this series, so that's also very interesting. As well as this Ed Heim, who previously wrote It Takes You Away and Orphan 55, is also writing an episode. Actors Paul Broughton and Sue Murphy will be playing the roles of Dan's parents, with Dan's dad being called Neville, and Dan's mother's name currently unknown. And finally, the series will probably be airing on the 31st of October. I've done a whole video on this, go and check it out, please. If I remember, I'll link it in the card in the top like right-hand corner. Um, and yeah, that's everything. That was a lot to get through. But if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you dare, tell me I missed something in the comments because I guarantee I did. But remember to like and subscribe. In the meantime, I've been Cyberman Alf, and from me for now, it's goodbye.